Toronto condos for sale, pre-construction and assignments for fall of 2020. Today we're, go today we're going to review Toronto condos for sale, assignments and pre-construction condos in Toronto for fall of 2020. This is Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Realtor and Mortgage Broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. Welcome to my channel, 200 subscribers, that's a big thing. Thank you everyone for liking, subscribing, commenting, you're doing great. Really appreciate it. And today we're going to tell you some great news about the Toronto real estate market. Uh, I'm going to show you how to find good Toronto condos for sale, whether it's resale, assignments, and pre-construction. Ready? Let's go. Yossi Kaplan here, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, where you find all the updates. A lot of this stuff comes here. I just don't have time to uh, blog everything. So for example, here you can see, um, I'm going to start right in. Studio investment, $380,000. That's an amazing price. This is the playground condos, the new one on Stronder, just uh, across from Liberty Village. These are almost finished. Uh, you can see here, and that's going to be also a continuation of Stanley Park with these two new bridges. They're already in place. Uh, this will be fantastic by next summer. Okay, this is the project. It's a lovely project. There is about five or six towers coming up, medium-sized medium -sized towers coming up at Strong, just the entry to Liberty Village. So there's some very nice uh, potentiality there. Uh, this is the playground, there's the Zen across the street and so on. So here's what it's going to look like. These are the, the playground uh, project. You see the bottom here, that's the new bridge. It, it's, it's been built, that bridge actually exists. Poor Liberty Village does not have a bridge, but this bridge already here. Uh, and the extension of Stanley Park, it's going to be called Stanley Park South. Okay. Um, this view is from... Uh, where are we? So we're looking uh, east towards Toronto from the west to the east. Okay, and these are the towers, some assignments there. Let me show you the studio. Uh, in order to see the studio, what you're going to do is uh, go to my twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan and then hit that link here. Oh, hold on. <laughs> that link dies every uh, hour or so. Okay, so you're going to hit the link from Twitter. You're going to get to this page, so I'll just show you again. So I'm on the Twitter. Hit the link here. I'll, I'll put the comment below as well. And now you're going to see the listing for this assignment. Now, mind you, most assignments do not come on listings. Some do. I showed you in the previous videos how to find assignments. Um, so or put a comment. I'll put the link directly for you. Uh, or you can go to urbanrealtytoronto.com, my main site. Scroll to the bottom here all the way down it's a big page and you'll see assignments here this link here assignments will take you to the assignment page of what's posted there'll be a lot more but once i click here this link here it's going to go to yossi's.searchrealty.co uh, and bring you here and you get more information so this is a studio offered at 380. now this assignment selling may be negotiable i'm not sure Okay, and these are obviously the renders. We don't have any pictures of the unit on the inside, but there is a floor plan. Okay, there is a floor plan. There it is. It's a studio. Uh, they bought it in March 19, 2017. I cannot see the floor, but the floor should be in the unit number 11. So this is a 11th floor studio now. And you can see you walk in here. There's a little washer dryer. There's the bathroom, there's L-shaped kitchen, which is fantastic because that means that the wall is available for the bed. So that's a perfect rental unit. You know, um, in 20 years of buying and selling real estate, either for myself or as a realtor, um, we've done a lot of studios in small spaces, and there is a reason for them. The first reason is because the price is cheaper. The second reason, the condo fees are cheaper. You know, if you're looking at 50, 60 cents a foot uh, for this unit, you know, you're looking at less than $200 a month for the condo fees, which is really cheap. Um, and the taxes are based on your purchase price, about 1%, maybe less than 1% divided by 12 of the purchase price. So this is the original price of price of the unit. It's not 380, it's probably less. Let's say it was 300, so 3,000, but they'll be down a bit. So you know, overall, I think uh, the carrying cost of this unit, we don't have the taxes obviously until it's assessed, but you can assume about a dollar per square foot, so 322 square feet. 320 350 dollars a month that's your carrying cost the rest you can pay cash or put a mortgage on it and the tenant here will probably pay you something like 1800 to 2000 a month for this unit okay um once a building i should tell you this so once the building comes up there's a lot of uh, available units so it's good 
to see if you can rent the unit at the very beginning or the very end. That's a strategy we've been using to maximize the rents. Otherwise, you're competing with a lot of other people getting the keys at the same time. So, you know, but it, it all evens out. Um, the first couple of years of the building, usually you find a bit of discrepancy, disparity in the prices. But once you go in it, it's just going to, you know, average exactly. So this is a very nice project. I really like it. The location is fantastic. You're like half a block from King, from King Street. And you can literally walk downtown or take the streetcar. It's all good. The streetcar comes from the west, east, into the city. That's what you can do. Okay? So that is a very good buy you can use to make some investment money in fall of 2020 in Toronto Real Estate Network. Okay, let's keep moving. Um, so the Twitter here, uh, the next thing I want to talk, and I'm just going to mix everything a little bit. Uh, the next, I'm going I'm to skip here to 488 University, and I'm going to go come back to Galleria in a second. Um, but this, I want to show you a few assignments. This is a fantastic unit available here at 488 University. This is about to be finished in October, so we've got about a month before we get the keys. And that's a one-bedroom, 544 square feet, offered at about just under 1,200 a foot, 649.5. Now, for comparison, that studio at 380, offered at 380 with 325. So I'm going to bring my calculator up. I don't think you can see it, but I will bring it up. And if I go 380000 divided by 322, I get 1180 a foot. Okay, 1180 a foot. Now, if I go 645900 divided by 544, I get 1187 a foot. So basically, you can get for the same dollar a foot, 488 University on the subway line, incredible value here, this unit here, or the same dollar a foot you can get, um, not on the subway line, not even on the streetcar line, still a very nice building, but not a building you're going to get paid, you know, five or six thousand a month for the unit. You're going to get eighteen hundred, two thousand a month for this unit here, versus probably five or six you're going to pick for the unit here. Now, which unit is better rental? Let me show you how I calculate this. So I'll bring the calculator up again. Let me see if I can show you the calculator. Uh, uh, I, I don't know how to do it. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing and. Uh, you follow up with me, you can do the calculator with me, okay? So, I want to see which unit is more efficient as investment unit. Obviously, this one is smaller, costs less. This is larger, costs more. The dollar per foot of the unit is, the units are, you know, seven, but it's the same. It's a couple percent different. So, we'll assume it's the same, the same in 1180. Obviously, our closing costs were slightly different, but not much because closing costs are based on the original purchase price, not on the assignment price. Remember that, okay? Which is cheaper for you when you buy the assignment. Um, which is another allure of assignment. And uh, for this 322, let's say I think I can get about 1800 a month for the little studio, okay? So 1800 a month times 12, that's $21,600, okay? I'm gonna divide this by 380, one, two, three, and that's 0.0568%. So I get 5.7% uh, uh, return and that's gross return, obviously. Okay, so but just for calculation, so 5.6a return, 5.7. Now, if I'm going to do the same exercise for the other unit, I got, um, I'll say, 5,000 a month uh, in the rents because I think I can get that, you know, furnish it and rent it to a surgeon or a doctor. And then times 12, that's 60,000, and divided by 649,500, and that's 0.0923%. So that's way way higher return on this unit okay if you achieve five thousand a month let's say i achieve only four thousand a month four thousand times twelve that's forty eight thousand divided by six four nine five hundred and now i get seven point four percent so still even at four thousand a month is still the return here is much much higher so at the end of the day if you can buy 488 university you're going to make more money faster on this unit than that unit. But why would you buy the studio? Because you can't afford anything more than that, okay? At least you get in the game, you get in the game of 5.6, 8%, uh, 5.7, almost 6%, so it's just 1.5% less, but you can get in the game now, and when you're gonna resell this unit, you can probably resell it for a lot more. Now, mind you, these are all assignments, regardless if they're my assignments or not, you can always, and as a negotiator, I'll tell you, you can always go and try and negotiate a better price. Some sellers will agree to it and some sellers won't, but it doesn't hurt to ask, okay? Uh, here we got some fashion house, penthouse lease at 10,000 a month. 
just that you know, and these things do lease. They actually, they do go. This is a lovely unit. And yes, it's 10000 a month, but you know, that's what these things cost. Okay? Uh, that was a really nice article. What can 400000 buy you in uh, get you in King West? And this is part of the review of Toronto's real estate in, in fall of 2019, 2020. And you can see here that you could have gotten this 619 square feet for 357. Obviously, this will cost you 600,000 now. Just add three zeros, 589, okay? Uh, here, uh, just add three zero, M5E, a nice building, great location, and now it's 621, just under 1,000 a foot. Thompson Residences, you could have bought this for 375, this unit, just under 600 square feet. It's exactly $1,000 a foot now. <laughs> so yeah, this guy's not happy, okay? So, the rents are up too, don't forget. Okay, 224. Um, let's go into, into some of the, uh, uh, some other information I want to show you here. We'll start with some of the nice pre-cons we have available. So the first thing you need to know is that Galleria Mall is launching um, a week tomorrow. So September 10th is going to launch. And here you can see me in the video speaking about Galleria Mall. we just jog a little bit. Now, this is a fantastic project by Free Development and Allied Canada. And what they're doing, they're doing an entire area. Uh, there's about eight towers and a few smaller buildings coming in there. Total of about 10 or 12 structures. Design community, master plan community. We discussed it a lot that I think that these are very safe and good long-term investments. I go into much, much detail in the Galleria Mall here. So that's one. I'm going to have the exact prices for you. Uh, September 10th. So I'm getting the sheet, and if you're looking to buy pre-construction, this should be on your list. This should be one of your top three lists. Okay. <clears throat> the next one, of course, if we go to my YouTube here, so that's the Galleria Mall. Okay. And this is uh, Toronto's three best investor condo projects. So I got three for you here. I got the well, I got Galleria Mall, and I got, if you look here, just click show more, the well by Troydell, Galleria Mall, and Crosstown Condos. These are the three master plan communities are running now in Toronto these each of these are you know it's a 10 year long process if you get in early in the game you're good because that means that in 10 years this thing will be probably more than double what they're now okay Toronto market doubles every seven or eight years so when you're investing in Spadina in front you're in the thick of everything and these buildings are selling and they're selling fast they don't advertise much Troy Dell because they don't need to because they have such good product and such good reputation and most of their advertising marketing is that word of mouth are people that are watching these videos and calling the agent like myself and say Yossi give me some prices of the well I got six hundred thousand dollars to spend I got a million dollars to spend what's the best options for me give me some good options at the well at gallery and so on and so forth that's the gallery review and the third one is, is of course the crosstown okay and uh, the crosstown is up at uh, DVP and 401 so it's a bit it's a bit of a discount so the well is uh, the most expensive project, okay? And then it'll be Galleria Mall and it'll be Crosstown. So if you can invest in Toronto, invest in Toronto. If you cannot invest in Toronto, you need to invest outside of Toronto. If you can invest, not invest out of Toronto, go do your homework and see how you can invest, okay? Very good, let's keep moving here. So we reviewed a few of the pre-construction we have for you. Um, the one that you know I would say is if you can afford an assignment, you can still make it a lot cheaper because assignments these days you'll get less than pre-construction. But the price on um, pre-construction uh, may be fourteen hundred a foot. The price on assignment may be twelve hundred a foot. The price on resale may be a thousand dollars a foot. So there's a big discrepancy here. There's a disparity. There's a gap between those numbers, $200 a foot times 600 uh, square feet, that's a lot of money. That's $120,000. That means that you can have a quarter million dollar difference. Think about it. If you buy 600 square feet at 600,000 resale, or you go, or you buy it at uh, 1,200, okay, that's 720,000 as assignment, or you buy at a fancy project uh, and you pay 1,400 a foot, you're gonna pay almost 1.5 million for that 600 square feet. Let me, I made a, hold on a second. <laughs> is, is that right? I'm doing all these numbers in my head. 1,400 times 600, 840. Okay, that's better. 840. So 600,000 
it's a thousand dollar foot for the 600 square feet 720 another 120,000 that's right it's 1200 foot for the 600 uh, square feet and 1400 foot times 600 that's 840 840,000 that's what you're gonna pay uh, for the unit if you bought it at 1400 foot so you want to find lower dollar per foot high value this is an example here this is the view condos uh, this is a 507 Kingston Road, so that's a top of beach, upper beach as it's called. Very nice units, mostly larger units. That's why these units here, you can't get like $500,000 unit, but you could get seven, eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand, and of course a million and two and about just under three million for the penthouses. And this is a very nice project. The dollar per foot here is very low, but the units are large, so the number, the total number is higher. Okay, but if you're looking for a larger unit, maybe to live, it's a very nice option. That's also pre-construction. And we'll also launch to the public um, week after next. We're doing the VIP for it right now. If you're interested in this building, give me a shout. There's nothing online right now. Just with me and a couple other uh, people that are involved in the project. Okay. Um, if you're looking at King West, other options you can do is Kingly 699-000, which is 1170 a foot. So you can see all these assignments in the new building are coming at more or less just under 1200 a foot, anywhere from uh, 1150 to 1200 a foot, which is very good, and that will vary based on if you get any view of the building, of the prestige, of the perceived value, of the finishes, of the developer, all these things, you know. Um, if you want cheaper assignment, West Condos, uh, down here on uh, Bathurst in front, will be a little cheaper. This is right at the Shopify building, there's, there's two Shopify buildings. Okay, so this is one. Indigo is in this building too, so you can literally rent it. And I made a video how to how to make money off Shopify and Google engineers, and you can rent it to one of them, and they're just gonna live there, you know, sleep the five hours, hang around for three, that's eight, and 16 hours they work. That's what they do. That's how they make the money, and that's why they're gonna rent from you and pay you a crazy amount. Uh, more assignments at Nobu. Nobu is 1566 a foot, so Nobu is becoming more expensive there. You know, so 1.2 million for 862 square feet, two bed, two bath, corner suite, 39, 39, 1391 a foot um, versus 1566 if you to buy this full price. Okay, um, if you're looking at King West, just down here on King Street, are you looking at 1500, 1600, 1800 dollars a foot, where you're paying 800 thousand dollars for 500 square feet unit? Okay. Here is another great unit. Uh, this is an option for you, 1339 a feet. You see, this is a little more, but it's a penthouse. So it's a high ceiling, it's a penthouse, it's a corner unit. It's got two balconies, it's got a parking locker for 1.25 million at Art Shop. That's coming up this uh, very soon, too. Uh, this is an amazing deal, actually. 889 a foot, 565 for this assignment at 330 Richmond by the Green. Uh, one bedroom, one bath, three, six. 635, 635 square feet, and a balcony on the 11th floor facing north towards Queen. Very, very nice. Great price. You know, like, you can't go wrong in this unit. You cannot go wrong. Now, what the nice thing about this unit, it's a, it's a larger one bedroom. And mind you, every year the units are getting smaller and the price is getting higher. That's why the dollar per foot is getting higher because you're paying more for less space. So if you can go back, assignment is like, like a time machine. You go back and you can actually grab something for less. So, this is available, and you're looking to invest under 600,000. You can get a lot of square footage here for less than 600, or you can get a studio for 600,000 in King West. Okay, so would you like to be at that building a block away, uh, 400 square feet, and pay 600,000, or you want to get 635 square feet, literally a block away on, on uh, Queen Espadina for 565? You know, that's that's something that that's a personalized thing. I'm not going to tell you what's better than the other. It's just what it is. Um, you can also go, if you're that type of investor looking for a long-term investment and you got a whole bunch of money that you need to park, that's called store of value, you can invest in this Young Enrichment assignment, 1.8 million, and 20 Lombard, Young and Rich. That's a very, very nice unit, high floor. This, this is everything, okay? 11.54 a foot. You see, per foot, it's not that high because it's a large building. Then, uh, sorry, a large unit then the price could be higher, okay? And some images here, the renders, some stuff we got here. I think that, that one was not the right image, but there you go. Okay, so uh, I talk a bit about, I talk a bit about the future of cities. 
you know, you're going to start seeing more e-bikes, uh, e-scooters, all these things are coming. You know, the world is changing, life is changing. If you don't change, if you don't change your thinking and you stay stuck, then the world gets stuck with you. That's a problem. You have you have to adopt. You have to always change. Okay, always change. Uh, that's the same Kingly. There's a unit at Noble for 620. That's pretty good. I mean, this will make a great rental. This then, it's kind of small to use as a bed, but some people would. And in a new world, you know, uh, two people at 520 square feet, that's going to happen. I already know people that are sharing two bedroom and a den, three people, and that's just going to happen. It's happening in San Francisco. It's happening in Hong Kong. It's going to happen in Toronto. That's just how it is. So get on with the program. And if you're investing, great. If you're not, uh, see how you can. Okay, this is the Brit Condos Bain Wesley. Phenomenal building. We'll built on the old uh, hotel there. And that's 525. You know, that's good value, 525. Now, I'm not crazy about the kitchen uh, like that, but it is a small unit, 450 square feet. So in this case, the designer put more room towards the bedroom and close the rest. You know, th there's so much room you can have, but luckily the bathroom was on the side. So this is not good. You can see the value, 1156 a foot, 1156 a foot. So a lot of these assignments I show you, they are indeed between 1150 a foot, 1156, and upwards of 1170, 1180, 1197. Those are what you're looking at the assignments. With the new construction, you're paying more. You're paying more, okay? This is, uh, what do we got here? 330 Richmond, another unit at a lower price. These are amazing values. The problem with assignments, of course, is a few, very few people can actually see the value because they can't walk into the unit. The moment they walk into the unit, of course, oh, that's really nice, but then everyone else walks into the unit and then, and then you gotta pay more, okay? The other day I showed an assignment to a, a customer, to a, a buyer, an investor, and they said, well, I, I wanna see it, I wanna see it. I said, you know, if you're going to buy it before the owner gets the keys, there is a chance for you to get a better price. You may be able to successfully and positively negotiate a better price. Just give me the unit. The moment the owner walks into the PDI, sees the unit, see how nice it is, and other people walk in there, they're going to get the price because they go, this is really nice. There's nothing at this price. Just let the people walk in and they're going to get the price. That's how it's going to work. So if you want to get that price, you got to do it before they get the keys. After you get the keys, the price of the assignment always goes up or the possibility of discount shrivels away. That's why you need to have a bit of, you know, gumption and to know what you're doing, do your homework and go for it. Don't forget that all these units, all these assignment units were sold pre-construction. That means that the people that bought these units never saw this unit. They never saw this unit, okay? This person that bought the penthouse didn't see the unit. Uh, this person that bought Nobu, Nobu did not see the unit. Um, this person also at Nobu did not see the unit. <laughs> none of these people actually saw the units. I've got a lot of Nobu here. But none of these people seen the units. So when you buy an assignment, you gotta understand the person before you brought from the developer. And you are essentially, when you buy the assignment, you're buying from developer too. However, you know, because you're not buying it at the office and getting the official uh, thing, then there's a psychological game here and, pe and people are don't know what to do. Those investors who buy from developers, they are very good at buying assignments too. And then they go, look, just give me the keys now before the PDI. I'm not going to pay you a full price, but we're going to make a deal and you're going to get out. And that's how you buy the assignment. That's how you get the assignment, okay? If you're going to wait until they have the keys or worse, wait until they close, you're just going to pay market price, you're going to pay higher. That's just how it's happening especially in buildings like this, where 481 University across the street already asking 1,600 foot. So this unit, um, <clears throat> you can go and look it up, but 481 University, 550 square feet, is gonna charge about $750,000, okay? But you can buy this now. So a lot of people say, well, you know, I'm gonna buy the assignment because um, I, don't have to, I don't have to close on it now. That's right, but are you making the money? So you can make the money now. If you have the ability to make the money, make the money now, okay? If you can't, obviously, do the 15%, 555, five, five, and the 5. But for now, the new, the new construction is so much more expensive. It's 15% more expensive than the assignment and 30 to 40% more, more expensive than resale that people are starting to look at, can I get the resale, put the mortgage in, put the tenant in, and just run, start running my business, okay? Something to think about. So 
when I go, I'm going to, a little bit more about assignment. So when I go here and I click the assignment button, look what happened. Assignment link. Okay, the system is going to show me the assignments that it has uh, in there. Now, my, again, I'll tell you every time I pull the map, hold on. These are not all the assignments. There are thousands of assignments available, but beca because we're not allowed to publish them, you know, those got published either with approval of developers, sometimes without, but they do get, a, uh, they do get published. So we have you know, a few dozen here. So some of these you've seen, some of these you haven't, but the thing is you have choices here. So here's an assignment for 495. That's a half a million dollar, half a million dollar listing. Okay, that's pretty good. Half a million dollar listing. It's not the largest. It's about a thousand, you know, it's just over a thousand a foot, but it's a discounted, it's a discount assignment. So that's a chance. I'll go back to search and let's do something interesting here. Let's see here what the cheapest assignment I have in the system. Just just for fun, and I look at the most expensive. So the cheapest I got right now is 450 here, and that's down in Etobicoke. I got the 488, and you can see none of these are super central, obviously, because you just can't get the super central assignment unless you're paying the price. Uh, nonetheless, you can find some good stuff. Here's 355 King, and that's a studio. Okay, so that's a little studio, uh, but you can buy this. You can buy this thing. That's not that bad. Uh, this is 387 square feet. Now, mind you, per foot, it's huge amount. So calculator, C-A-L-C. Okay, so the way you do it is 523-000 divided by 387. $1,351 a foot, okay? You're paying 13... Thirteen hundred fifty-one, one three five one dollars a foot, one thousand three hundred fifty-one dollar a foot for this tiny little thing. But the total price is half a million dollars. But then again, I just showed you five twenty-five in another building. You can get a whole one bedroom for it. Why won't you do it? Okay. Um, or if you really want this studio, maybe you should offer here. We can just go and offer way lower price. You have nothing to lose. Hey, I pay you four eighty. What do you think? Hey, I pay you four fifty. What do you think? Worst case, they'll tell you, like, we don't want to see you anymore. Just get out of here. <laughs> and that's fine. Or they're going to say, look, we cannot do 450, but maybe we can do 480. And we can negotiate something. Okay? So that's, that's what you do. That's how you get these deals. I know a lot of people that all they do is they buy assignments. Now, yes, they have some cash. But even if you can buy one condo, that's good. Once you start to get the three, you start making money. And there's uh, this broker that keeps telling me, you know, once you have 10 condos, you're free. That's your job now. You can quit your job and you can just run the business and make money on the rent and keep investing. So 10 condos, that's, your, that's, that's where you start to do it. Here's time and space, 600,000 right here. Okay, so that's on the construction. Uh, here's a larger unit. Okay, let's see if, I don't know if they upload a floor plan. They did not, but I could find it if you're curious. But that's asking for Six hundred thousand dollars for about six hundred square feet. There's not a lot of detail here. Nothing much. You can assume from the estimated condo fees that it's over six hundred dollars a foot. Okay, um, but nonetheless, you have options. You have options, but the thing is, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna jump ahead here. I'm gonna show you something really cool. Using my auxiliary computer is not as fast as the usual one. Here's that five. Here's uh, the 330 Richmond, by the way. Great value here in this building. Absolutely great value. That's about a thousand a foot, 600 square feet. Here's the unit. Okay, if you want floor plan, let me know. Just send an email or fill your. I'm interested. Put a 617 square feet with a balcony. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's just under a thousand a foot. Um, Okay, when you go to torontocondos.tel, this is another thing. I haven't launched it officially yet because we're still working on this. We have a new site called torontocondosforsale.com. I've had the domain forever, but I never really put it to use proper. So we're starting to work on it now. And this has a list of condos available, either by occupancy date, by map, what's coming first, what's coming second, all that stuff. It's also got a search function. Uh, map search okay 
And here I can search for residential, these are resales, but I can also search for pre-construction condos. And then that's really cool, it's gonna show me what's available, pre-construction condos, let's say in King Toronto, uh, just down here, King West. So you can see the information available in this system that we prepare for you. And then, oh, uh, okay, close the page. And then you can apply for information for what's available. Now I already told you this building is very, very expensive. Nonetheless, it's almost sold out. Okay, so just fill in this form and you get the information. TorontoCondosForSale.com, go to the map search, pre-construction condos, there you are. Okay, and here you can just zoom in and see what's available in any area. This is really nice. So um, you can also search by name. So let's say I search to the well. Let's see if this works. I can type. So the well, 444 uh, Front Street. And there it is. Okay. Now it's not going to give you prices online because the developer won't let us do it. But if you fill the form or give me a shout, it will work for you. Okay. So there you go. There you go, my friends. There's a lot of info. There's a lot of information here. Uh, YossiCapital.com. What are we doing here? The Lookout. And I should change that because now it's called The View with a bit of a different uh, style. But YossiCapital.com. You get videos here. Is it a good time to buy a condo in Toronto? You know, since I posted this uh, video with all the comments and almost 3,000 views, I think, uh, the price have gone up. They go up by about half a percent or a percent on average every month. That's insane. You know, every condo in the city goes goes up by two hundred, three hundred, five hundred thousand dollars, five thousand dollars, depending on where you are every month. Some condos go up by fifty bucks a day, a hundred bucks a day. You don't do anything. You just sit there, collect your rent, or live in it and sit on it and wait. Just keep paying into it. That's what you gotta do. Okay, so you gotta do these things, my friends. Um, you can find really great, crazy uh, resales too, like 489 on Queen West. This thing will bring about 26,000 in rents, we believe. See all the numbers here. I'll give you the numbers, the cash flows, everything. You, you can look at it. You can look at the pictures. You can see exactly what's going on. Okay. Um, here is uh, the market watch from Toronto uh, Real Estate Board. Once you click on this link here, historical port it will show you in numbers and a graph what's going on. So what's go this, is the, this is the market, my friends. Uh, most people that watch here are too young to remember 89. I wasn't even in Canada in 89. They came here in the mid-90s. Uh, but in the mid-90s, you could still see here the slump, the slump. And it only started picking up in the 2000s. And yet, indeed, it was a slump. But then it went up, and then it just started accelerating like crazy. Now, in 2019... You got to see something. The record year we had so far uh, from this stats is 822. So the average, uh, the average uh, MLS price was 822 in uh, 2017, and then drop a bit in 2018. This average, remember the 16 point and all that. But what's going to happen now is you're going to have a big, big surprise here, my friends, because uh, let, I think I can show you here. What's happening is this year has been just just crazy. Sales are up by 24% down the bottom here. Automatic zoom. Let me see if I can zoom in for you and make sure that you can see what I'm looking at here. Yeah, uh, I need to move myself over. Oh. Now we can see. Okay, so I'm showing you this uh, um, this corner here. That's that's where I want you to focus. Okay, so the average uh, year over year change is 24% more, more listings, less active listings because everyone's buying everything and some people are not selling, and the average price has gone up by 3.2% uh, from. But it's really uh, about. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven thousand dollars, and the day of the market is shrinking. This is only for resale. The market is healthy now. If I look here, on the center, in the average, this section here, you can see that uh, overall uh, sales. So this is the sales number. They up. They up like crazy. Thirty percent more sales for detached. Forty-two percent more for the semi. Twenty-one percent more for the townhouse and condo. Fourteen percent more on average. Remember the condos, there's a resale, but there's a lot of assignments and new construction that Trevor's not accounting for. And the average price 
Uh, the, detach the detach went up, down by a bit. That's because that top end, for whatever reasons, that's a whole other video went down, which I think is good. Um, the price went down a little bit in Toronto, but the amount of sales more or less the same, which is great. The semi is up, the towns are up, and the condos are up by 7.7% in, in the 416. That's for resale. Okay, so let's say, let's say it went by 8%. That's about 0.75% uh, per month. And if your average condo price, this is 416, is 627. Okay, so that's about, uh, let, me, let me calculate it again. I ought to calculate it today. It's a good thing it's early still. <laughs> Uh, so let's say 627,000 times uh, 0 0.077. So that's, it's high, my friends. That, that's that's $48,000 divided by 12. So you're looking about a possible appreciation of something like $4,000 a month on that condo. Okay, that's $120 a day that condo is going up by price. Let's say it's only going up by thirty dollars a day. Okay, that's that's a lot. That's <laughs> any number, any number. It's just like you know, what can I tell you? Um, the idea here is to buy, to buy now, to buy the best you can. Um, just do your best, buy your best, do whatever you can to do this, and then hold it, sit on it, rent it, improve the value, and keep moving. That's how you do it, my friends. That is how you do it. Real estate, okay. If you got the pockets and the experience, you, you can flip. Uh, if you're inexperienced, come to me. I'll show you how to do it. Buy one, hold it, manage it, caress it. It's like a baby. Give it some good loving. Go to yossi.searchrealty.co uh, to look at all the listings. Go to urbanrealtytoronto.com. Scroll to the bottom. Click on assignments to get the assignment listings. Okay, the system will pull for you. You can sort by latest listing, again, there's probably 500 more, 1,000 more available, not on the system. It's just a handful. But get in touch, get in contact, um, latest listing. This is good because anything comes up, it'll show you right here. Some of the, you know, this won't update quick because you can't really put most of the assignments on this, but just to give you an example, an idea of what it is, uh, there's a lot of good deals out there, okay? This is a great deal. I showed you a deal for 380. If you got the funds to invest in the well, the well is amazing. Uh, if you want to get cash flow right away, this is on the market right now. You can book a showing. I showed you the well. The market is spoken. Toronto has spoken, my friends. This is Yossi Kaplan. <laughs> Toronto Real Estate, Fashion House, King West, Urban Realty. Uh, just go to any search engine and type in Yossi Kaplan Real Estate. You get a lot more information. You get videos, you get images. You can completely teach yourself how to buy and sell real estate, assignments, condos, anything you want. It's possible. Everything's possible. Stay focused. It's all good. That's it.